the 20th century, the humanity has developed several new technologies of fire extinguishing. Besides the traditional water, foam and powder were started to be used. Special volume extinguishing systems were created for firefighting in closed spaces. Previously, gaseous mixtures based on bromine containing halocarbons were used in these systems. But in the 1980s, scientists of the entire world made the conclusion that such gases can facilitate the destruction of the ozone layer. That is why, in 1987, halocarbons were prohibited by the Kyoto Protocol and replaced by other substances such as nitrogen or carbon dioxide. But very soon, it became clear that the extinguishing ability of these gases was far less effective than that of halocarbons. That is why a search for alternative volume firefighting methods was started around the world. In the 1980s, the idea of gaseous aerosol fire extinguishing came to surface. This direction is well developed in Russia. It is recognized abroad and is currently widely applied in different areas, such as industry, technology, fire protection for buildings, parking lots, and so forth. Testing aerosols based on alkali metal oxides has shown that the new method is several times more effective than gas. This is why the developers of these new volume aerosol fire extinguishing systems have been honored by the state prize of the Russian Federation in 1999. This is a perspective and important segment which covers the entire class of problems in gaseous fire extinguishing. Technically, it is very effective. For example, compared to powder extinguishing compositions, the extinguishing concentration of aerosol systems varies from 40 to 100 grams. Therefore, this is an important and perspective subject. The principle of aerosol fire extinguishing systems is based on the active influence of fine particles on the process of combustion. These particles are formed in a special device, the generator, during the burning of special solid fuel compositions. The extinguishing concentration of aerosol is reached shortly after the generator starts operating. The aerosol particles connect with free radicals in the area of burning. As a result, the heat balance is disrupted, the open fire ceases, the heat release sharply reduces, and the temperature of the gaseous environment is reduced progressively. The fire extinguishing concentration of aerosol persists within 10 to 15 minutes after the generators stop operating. This makes repeated ignition impossible. Presently, fire extinguishing aerosol generators are used in different areas. For example, generators manufactured by the Moscow-based Granite Salamander Company are used to equip passenger buses by the Pavlovsky motor plant. The special detectors immediately notify the driver that the ignition occurs. All the driver has to do is to start the fire extinguishing aerosol generators using a special remote control. Similar systems are installed in the cars of Russian passenger and electric trains, marine and river ships, and of course different premises. Also, we have developed fire extinguishing systems for military motor transport and aviation. The effectiveness of such systems was confirmed by multiple tests and in the real situations of extinguishing fires. As a result, the Ministry of Emergency Situations has issued a recommendation letter which praises the high efficiency and quality of fire extinguishing aerosol generators of Granite Salamander, the leading Russian producer. It is necessary to highlight the so-called Green Age generators. They are designed to be manually thrown into the center of fire. For example, burning rooms or buses or carriages, in other words, a space which is impossible or very dangerous to enter, even for a man wearing a special vestment. Six to eight such grenades can easily extinguish a burning electric train car. In ten minutes, there will be neither burning nor smoldering inside. This impressive effectiveness of firefighting encouraged the Ministry of Emergency Situations to mandatory equip all fire trucks with such grenades. One of the elements of new firefighting technologies is the application of operational aerosol generators. The entire range of fire trucks produced since 2006 should be necessarily equipped with such operational generators. It should be mentioned that the generators of the fire extinguishing aerosol have another important advantage. They are much more efficient than other extinguishing systems. 
The common gaseous volume fire extinguishing systems require expensive communications and substantial investments. Compared to them, aerosol extinguishing systems are much cheaper and more compact. The same can be said about the operational generators. Extinguishing a fire using these generators costs much less than compared to the traditional systems. By the way, this particular characteristic of the generators caused such an excitement among European customers that aerosol fire extinguishing appeared in the European TV news. Today, the Russian granite salamandra company is the main producer of aerosol fire extinguishing systems in the world and covers two-thirds of the aerosol generator market. The company was founded in 1992 and has remained an exclusive partner of such organizations as the Russian railroads. The company's production has been awarded with many Russian and international diplomas and was certified by the All Russian Scientific and Research Institute of Fire Defense, the Center of State Sanitary Supervision, the Certification Body in Electric Energy, and the Certification Register of the Federal Railroad Transport.